Hi guys, I hope you can hear me over the noise of the traffic, but I'm sat in my front garden and um, I'm working on a theory <laughs> um, that temp agro money was used as rope. I, I know that it was, but I would like to know how they processed it. And I'm thinking that maybe it was processed similar to nettle. I mean, sometimes when you're using natural cordage and stuff, you have to soak it and it's a bit of a slimy, sticky process. But um, what I did today, I just literally just went down the pit and I just picked a couple of stalks of hemp, pulled the leaves off and scattered the seeds. Oh, scattered the seeds. Now, um, as you can see, it's quite woody all the way along its length. So I split it with a knife down the centre and as you can see there, you can see the um, pith, all right, which is just a, a foamy, corky substance that is used to transport nutrients and vitamins up and down the plant. So now I thought that this it may be because it's late in the year, I don't know, and maybe these should be harvested, you know, when they're freshly grown. But I thought it would have been quite easy to separate the epidermal layer from the pith just by using a technique of pulling and bending the fibres down away from the pith. No, didn't work quite that easily. So then I set about breaking the spine of the um, plant all the way down to try and extract those fibres. And that didn't work so great either. There was an awful lot of wastage and I want, because I noticed like the stem of the plant, um, the striations of the fibres grow really tight up against the, the central cortex or medulla or the pith. So um, I then thought, okay, maybe they soaked them. I think they probably did, but just for the sake of experimentation, I then pounded um, one with a rock, <laughs> proper caveman style. And the pith, as you can see, is still attached in some places and then came off easily in others. And all I did, was a rubbing technique like this okay so the pith actually comes off sort of along horizontally rather than vertically which is better so literally just you just rub this way instead of this way okay so try that and what I, the stage I've got to now which is starting to fascinate you now because now I'm becoming interested now I'm becoming interested is um, the the fibres I don't know if you can see that I've actually just from me handling it and rubbing it through my fingers and just twiddling I've started to separate now the individual fibres are really quite something else I will show you what I mean let's get a good piece there you are now you won't be able to see this, don't. But check the thickness of those out. That is thicker than a hair, and there's many of them. So no wonder it was called holy rope because once those fibres have been processed and separated from each other, clinging from each other on the cuticle, they are going to be an awesome rope. So I'm just having a play because I think I'm out of season for making this kind of natural cordage. But you can see how they are starting very hair like and they are starting to separate. So I think a, a process of manipulation and pounding will actually make an awesome natural cordage. Anyway, get up there and have a go. Bye for now.